Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of our Rise of the Rune Lords campaign. Uh, last session, I say session because it wasn't really a true session, we had a bit of a QA on uh, what on, on the um, events, we'll say, of the first book. We were missing our favorite toll, however. We are going our favorite our favorite brawler. We are going to um, ask ask Toll a few questions to start off with before we get into anything. But let's jump straight in. Uh, there we go. Hello, it is open. There we go. Okay, cool. Captions are working. Hopefully, so. So, a couple of the questions from last week were, and I think we'll just hit a couple of my favourite. Um, first of all, what was your favourite moment of the entire first of the uh, up until this point? What was the what was your favourite moment? Probably when we were fighting in the glassworks, uh, the glassworks and. Yeah. We we were by that doorway, and I started grabbing stuff and building cover. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That yeah, I get that, that was that was creative, and I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, very very fun for sure. I uh, I definitely enjoyed that one there, and um, I'm not sure if you're coming through, Chuck. By the way, I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the captions are somehow picking up some few words that you're saying and i'm not sure why everything's going through to my headset and not to any other speaker that's weird um, and there's no microphone on my headset it's fine so. we'll we will figure that out later it's all on a captions get <laughs> yeah yeah definitely i mean look we've got captions and we're doing our best that it'll it'll be fine <laughs> um but yeah no like i i definitely feel like that was my absolute favorite moment that wasn't quite my favorite moment of yours rather but it was really really cool my favorite moment of That's yours big. was uh this big but very far away yeah yeah a hundred percent oh man it's this big but it's very far away just oh that's pure dandy right there <laughs> but yeah it was pretty good um my the other the other question that I really really enjoyed was, uh, were there any moments where you were obviously other than the druid fight, um, were there any moments where you were very much like, oh, this is it, we're all gonna die, and that's it. Uh, yeah, Act One, Scene One, First Phase. Yeah, uh, literally. I arrive in town and I'm knocked out by goblins. <laughs> and if if you hadn't have said the goblin jumped on top of yeah. uh, of Vorin's hammer, I would have been killed <laughs> right there, right then. Yeah, no, that's that's very fair. That is very fair. And yep. yes, you would have. <laughs> the life Solomon. and death of Solomon. The life and Five death. Five minutes screen time. That's it. Solomon would have ended right there. Yeah. Without, without, a, without a second thought. Yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> I love that. But let's jump in to, to today's session. So the night before, you all made your way to your respective rooms, beds, wherever you find yourselves. And... Most of you have a pretty restful sleep. You're in a safe area, you're in a safe place, you're in a familiar place. Varen. You have a slightly less restful sleep than the rest. You are very aware that some of your tools are missing and some of your personal effects are also missing. Nonetheless, you get a full night's sleep, and we pick up 
the next morning. What are you guys doing? What do you what? We'll start with Varen. And it take stock. Take yep. stock of my stock. See yep. what was missing and what's not missing. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anything that I need to make to replace. Um, like if I need to make another hammer or tools to replace. What was yeah, you will definitely need to make another hammer for sure. Um, the your your favorite hammer, unfortunately, is gone. Um, okay. Also, there is a pair of tongs that are gone. Yep. And uh, among the clothing items that are gone are you, uh, an apron, probably one that you haven't used in a while but it's gone nonetheless um yeah uh no boots are missing or anything like that um so just a just probably two shirts and a pair of pants uh are gone missing um like i said uh your teapot as well is, is gone yeah. not sure if you have more than one but no yeah probably not more than mm. one with that I would have another hammer and another set of tongs. Yes. Yeah. It'd be silly yeah. to not have. Of course, a replacement, yeah. yeah. So I guess what I will do first then is um, get coals going and dump all of the dog slices. Dog slices? Yeah, dog slices into yep. a bucket yeah. to start melting them down. Yeah, super easy. Um, and then I will, uh, what day would it be? What day will it be? Um, let me have a look. Were a couple of those dog slicers, uh, masterwork? They, there was, no, no, were, no, no, no. no, all no. The were masterwork. Correct. Okay. Yes. Um... Oh, there was one masterwork dog slicer, but I won't melt that one down. It's just the 23 yeah. Yeah. standard ones that I would melt down. Yeah, not a problem. Um, that will actually pretty much give you all of the material you need for... ...40 uh, spears. 46 spears. Um, and all you'd need to do is fashion shafts, but, um, that's pretty easy to be honest. And, uh, so yeah, so for the next, for the next 46 spears that you craft, uh, you do not have to pay the silver cost for, um, as to which day it is, I believe it's probably the... <laughs> Around about the 6th or the 7th of Desnes. Okay. This is the day that I would be doing a service. A sermon. Um, great question. What days does Torek Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we will say no. In that case, then I would just um, light up the house and the workshop yep. melt, make sure those dog slices melt down and then uh, get some food out of my pantry and have breakfast and then start working and just making those spears. Yep. Yeah, not a problem. Um, do you, so you, you eat at home? Yeah, not a worry. Um, so it probably takes you a, probably a, an hour or so to do all of that. Um, yep. So, yeah. Um, 
not a worry. Go ahead and make a craft check. Uh, adding five, so that'll be a 29. And I believe uh, I just have to, I have to do the, I, I really should write down what his bonus to what uh, Torgas's bonus to um, like craft is. Something. It's, it's, it's huge. Um, As it said, dragon. <laughs> It's it's a minimum of plus twenty eight. <laughs> I don't remember what it. I think it's actually more than that. Like ninety percent sure it's more than that. But in any case, oh no, it is. It is. It is. Um. Thirty six. So um, go ahead and add the uh, forty two to that as well. Because about half an hour after you've started, um, Torgas also joins you and uh, continues to uh, help you out with that one there. Uh, so, to answer the question of... Be, yes? He would be surprised to find my door locked because I didn't unlock it yet. Oh, Okay. Uh, you hear a very hefty smack on your door, on your front door. Just one, just, door. just one, like, pound on your front door. Mm -hmm. Nobody is used to uh, his yeah. door being uh, locked, so everyone's just going to yeah. run into it now. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um... So yeah, so you open the door and uh, Forge Master Kadril Torgas is standing in front of you. Cool. So, morning. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Your door was locked. I, uh, while I was away, some people, or person, somebody, needed more of my belongings. Or needed my belongings more than I did, so just wanted to make sure I slept soundly once. I see. Please come in. I would offer you tea, but they took my kettle. So. Well, that will not do. I will return momentarily. And he walks away. <laughs> looks like he's headed. Looks like he's headed towards a, a store of some kind. Um, so to answer the question of what day it is, um, it is, in fact, the, uh, come on, where did it go? I actually had a full, um, ah, there it is. Yes, there it is. So officially, as of today, it is the 12th, actually, no, sorry, the 8th of Lamashan, which is the 10th month. So, officially, yes. What day of the week, though? Toil day, so Tuesday. Officially, as of, we finally got that sorted. As of this day, it is the, what did I say? <laughs> I'm not going to remember this. The 8th of Lamashan Toil Day. Okay, so. Um, about 10 minutes later, he comes back with a brand new teapot. 
and uh, sets it sets it uh, boiling and uh, right at somewhere so to pin it. Yeah, look there. Um, he set, sets it boiling on the uh, on the on the on the fire. Um, all right, so Toshi and Solomon, you both are awake and um, head downstairs at pretty much the same time. Saf is already at the bar. Um, just seems to be having some kind of breakfast. And again, hood up and making themselves very small. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Uh, oh, um, Toshi. Uh, hello. It's it's hi hi. Yes. How are you this morning? Oh well. Um. Yeah. Well. How about you, Solomon? Huh. Bright and chipper on this morning. Uh, I'm gonna grab breakfast like we normally do and head over to Vorin. Yes. Oh, ah, oh, cool. Of course. Um, uh, in, enjoy, in, enjoy your day. You're coming with us. You're oh. part of the group now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're being dragged Where along. Where do you go? Trouble follows. Of, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Don't worry. We're just going over to his house. Uh, it's a lot more private. Just of course. Just before we go, I'd like to catch up with Amiko if I can. Yeah, yeah. she's at the bar. Cool. Uh, I want to ask Amiko about emblazoning her. Uh, you know my flag that I've got. Yeah. Well, I, I want to give her the chance to emblazon my cape with the same thing. No capes. <laughs> um. Yeah, so she sort of cocks her head at you and uh, just tells you where you can find a decent tailor. But for your logo? Uh, yeah, um, the, the logo is just the head of a brass dragon. That's that's all it is. <laughs> Wait, it's called the Rusty Dragon, but it's a brass dragon? Yeah. Don't it's... you want to go with some, something that can rust? Brass coloured. It's don't don't worry about it too much. When you're drunk you don't notice. <laughs> exactly. Fair enough. Oh well, okay, I'll take the hint. <laughs> Sounds and, like uh... a great way reason to be day drunk then. When is there not a great reason to be day to be day drunk? I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so, plans for today? Uh, Vorin, and I'm sure he'll have some trouble for us. I'm sure he will. <sighs> In any case, uh, make sure he's eaten breakfast, and uh, I'll make sure I send over a send over a, a meal for himself and possibly uh, the forge master. Sounds good. So yeah. she sets up plates for uh, all of you. So Saf has already eaten. Um, <laughs> so yeah, super easy. Hand you over the meals and um, just nods to Saf and sort of shoes them out of the way. <laughs> I can just I can just see Saf carrying all the plates and yeah. things after us. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah no, you guys are the worst. Carry it. Tush will help we him are. carry it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a worry. In any case, uh, you head over to Vorin's and um, doors closed. So she will go to open the door, but probably run into it because it doesn't open. No, it opens. It opens, and you do hear the forge. You do hear the forge uh, in full swing as well. That same rhythmic work of two 
Master Smiths. Well, well into their, uh, well into their workday. Well, let's hope to interrupt them just enough so that they both eat. That's fair. Um, go ahead and make me a perception check, Warren. <laughs> yeah, no, neither of them come out. <laughs> uh, Saf, go get them for us, would you? Don't uh, order poor uh, Saf around. Um, I mean, I, I, I can if, if, if you want. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, okay. And they sort she of. We'll go with Saf. Okay. <laughs> no well, giving the stink eye to Solomon. Of course, of course. Um, so yeah, so you, you head over and uh, they're both fast at work. Voron is facing towards the door. Forge Master Torgas is facing away from the doorway. Social um, wave. Yeah, there's absolutely no response whatsoever. Uh, Saf, will, Saf will step in and um, just, oh, ex excuse, excuse me? Um... And again, no response. <laughs> oh, Saf, don't worry. If they don't see us, we don't exist to them. That's strange. Um, I mean, have you never meditated before? Uh, no. That, no. We should probably work on that with you. I'm good. Thanks. Uh, meditation is not my thing. One of the people who goes out and does things more? It's just, it can get real loud. In... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Um. Feeble mind. How do we... What are we thinking now? Wow. <laughs> uh, and, and... Saf's looking very lost, and how how do we um, and just gestures we wait towards until they're done. How how long will that be? A few hours. Right. All day. All day. <laughs> Not a worry. Well, at about midday, Toshi's going to come in and very much make yep. their presence known. All right. How do you do so? Because they do not come out at all. Um, before that, mm -hmm. would, uh, would Toshi have noticed, because Toshi spent quite a bit of time in Varen's house, that anything is amiss? Roll me a perception check. Uh, with my whole new perception up, I think it's plus nine. Plus nine? Oh, no, plus ten. Ooh. Plus ten. Mm-hmm. Twenty-two. Um, no, not particularly, no. Not even the new teapot. <laughs> Actually, you do notice the new teapot. That's about it. Is it within so, Warren's style, or is it something completely different? It Pink seems. It seems uh, functional and ceramic and new. Very, very dwarven. <laughs> Function over form. I mean, like, that's their entire stack, too, so. Not always, not always. They're, like, dwarven artistry is fantastic. However, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's odd, he got a new teapot. Is there any good tea in there, or is it, like, black tea? It's, it's, it's a, it's a, probably, Vorin, you tell me. <laughs> what kind of tea is it? Just a black tea. Just a black tea. <laughs> Just a straight black tea. Love That's it. How I like it. Yes. Nice. I need to get a more sugar if he's <laughs> going to continue to make this tea. Every time you make a new it pot, you just put more tea leaves in. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, what it's... objects could I use to make a very loud sound? Uh, there's uh, some pots and pans. 
But um, to be honest, anything that you, any, any sort of sound that you make mm-hmm. will probably be drowned out by the sound of the forge and the hammers and, you know, working of metal. Toshi will stand very close to them, but still mm-hmm. out of the way, mm-hmm. and just wait until one of them looks over. Okay, go ahead and roll me a perception check, Varen. <laughs> Is the forge master... You noticed Toshi just standing ignoring there. Me. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Tapping oh, uh, Toshi's foot. <laughs> like slow to the strikes, and yep. then drop them on the anvil rather than on what I'm working on. Mm-hmm. To sort of signal that yep. there is an interruption. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, Forge Master Torgas does slow down with you and stops and just sort of shoots Toshi a look. You guys are having lunch, yes? It's not that time yet, is it? I, I said I was going to wait till about noon. Yeah. You uh, look up and you realize it probably is about that time. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have some food. Good. <sighs> it's a sigh from Toshi. the Forge Master. <laughs> well, I'm happy both of you are in agreement that food is probably a good idea right now. Come on. Mm. You know what they always make over at the Rusty Dragon. And we brought you food, don't worry. You do realize that I have a pantry and food, right? Yeah, but Amigo sends us food, sends along food, so. Okay. Go and sit down and eat. Um, yeah. We'll question if there's any beer. There is not. <laughs> However, um, Saf does say, oh, I can, I can go and get some if you like. No, I think Solomon can do, go and do that for us. What, what is Solomon doing? I can. No, no, it's 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 okay. I can. I can. I can go. Saf, Saf, you're fine. <laughs> Solomon should go and do it. <laughs> really, my fault. Okay. Or you both can go. What am I doing? Going I'm to sorry? get beer. <laughs> Going to get beer. Yes. I should go back to the temple and get that ale. <laughs> so she'll crack up. Wow. We're, we're <laughs> owed. We're owed owed some ale by the temple. No, but, uh, really I might, not. <laughs> I might leave that. I, I, I might leave that to Vorin. Uh, he can explain the cursed cross, and uh, I guess I'm on my way to Amico's. Order up. All right. Um, Saf will go with you. Okay. Something Just dark out of curiosity. Dark and what does uh, what does Saf drink? Uh, have you taken any notice? I would be taking notice now. Okay. All right. Interesting. Since since uh, Toshi is very much into yeah. the exotic. Uh, uh, ales and things. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to assume that uh, Saf is a heavy drinker as well. It's a fantastic assumption. Uh, Saf, however, doesn't order anything. Amiko for Saf, and I'm I'm just going to expect that Amiko knows what she's. Uh... <laughs> Amiko sort of frowns at you and just pops her head again, and she says, How much do you know about how alcohol affects the body? You're a big lad. I'm assuming it takes you a few drinks to get, to, to get into your cups. Um, treat me like I'm innocent. What should I know? Saf is quite small, and alcohol will roll them. Okay. Hard. Um, I'm going <laughs> to look at Saf and be like, milk? 
there's there's just sort of a just sort of a, a, a quizzical look and um ah uh, no that's okay i'm i'm fine let's, okay let's let's okay. let's go just load Seth up with a drink so yeah. I'll mine. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Poor Seth. All right. I feel so sorry for Seth. So, so we're back with drinks. Yeah. In the meantime, Solomon and Seth leave, and they've probably gone for a good 10 minutes. The Forge Master eats silently. Is there any yeah, other to say though? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you two are wonderful at conversations. I hope you realize that. Would you would you even mention that anything was stolen? Not really. Isn't like like Voron said, they clearly needed it more than I did. Oh yeah, Voron, I also forgot that you got a new teapot. When did that ha that happen? Uh, that would be the Forge Master's teapot. I already have a Not teapot. Mine. I don't need another one. I guess it's your teapot now, yeah. Horn. Yeah, it's my teapot. Um, I needed a replacement, so he uh, quite insistently went and got one. I wasn't going to start work without tea. That's fair. I mm. need to get you guys. Do you guys only drink black tea? I drink what's hot. I'm... I could put soup in there and that'd be fine with you. Tea is soup. You don't... <laughs> you don't... Beer is liquid bread. <laughs> Beer is liquid bread. It's good for you. I mean, no, soup isn't, or tea isn't soup, because soup is made out of a broth from an animal. It's usually those uh, birds or other animals. Yes, animals, that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. Let's see, uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll me a sense motive on, on the Forge Master. Sense motive. Yeah, sense motive on the Forge Master. <laughs> He's definitely made a funky soup in the past. Um, you are not quite sure exactly what that means, but he did not use animals. <laughs> There's a story there that I have to ask for. Good luck. I mean, like, I would want it willingly. I'm not going to try to force it out of you. Hmm. Just get a grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you two seem very and the others could do me a favor after we have lunch. What's up? Uh, take the... Five completed spears over in the corner to the sheriff. Oh, okay. Thank you. Am I back yet? Yeah. Um, probably yeah. about half oh. a minute after after that question is asked, um, <laughs> Solomon and Saf both work back, both walk back in through the door. Being that we've got spears to deliver, I'd be like, "Do you have a shaft?" Or uh, and I'd give you the head of what remains of my spear. I mean, like, I, I think you would have a shaft, but I don't exactly know that. Wow. Wow. Um, these aren't the same as your spear. Okay. They're the short spears. Ah. So do you have a long shaft? Yeah, the longest shaft? I make one, but... I mean, like, uh... I... I recommend I go. Recommend I go to find one in town to buy, or or 
I'm Can I ask you if you're a woodworker like not too far away? Um, no, it's fine. I should be able to. There'll be one back there somewhere. Because it's just a this beer is just a quarter staff with a bit on the end. So. Yeah, pretty much. I was about to say because the head is already forged. I will say that you will be able to attach the head to a shaft, no issues. Yeah. At the end of the day, like just it's just it's done. Just um, mm -hmm. you will have to buy the shaft itself. So quarter staffs don't cost anything. Oh, there you go. Quarter staffs don't cost anything. So there you go. Not an issue. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you are right. my flag back until the end of the day. Yeah, 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 to I the end of the day. Say they, they always put more value in the head. Oh. Just, just wow. What? Nothing. <laughs> okay, I will finish yep. my beer. Mm -hmm. And uh, wish my friends good day. Mm -hmm. And go back to work. Not a problem. Um, Is that... There... Forge Master is taking a little bit of a moment to uh, finish his beer slowly and savor it. Um, but as soon as you walk out the doorway, he turns to the rest of you three and says, Has any of your. Possessions gone missing. Have they? No. You you guys are fine. You no. guys haven't lost anything. Nothing that I'm aware of. Saf. Saf is oh um. Uh no. no. Okay, that's good. If you Why lose you anything, that's a very big problem. Um, so the Forge Master uh, s sort of is, is half silent for a moment and um, just nods and never mind. Stands and heads back into the Forge. I would like to know. Yep. No. Toshi says that to him. Oh. Uh, it's not my place. And heads back into the forge. Warren's teapot was fucking stolen. He got a new one this morning and he didn't want to keep it because the forge master had gotten it for him. Why would the forge master get it for him? You think his wallet was stolen as well? Uh, I think his teapot was stolen. And I sure hope whomever stole it washes it out thoroughly before using it. You can't get that black tea favor out. That's seeped in there from so many years. Which I also especially, sucks. especially, especially since all Voron does is just add more tea leaves to the top. It doesn't even bother <laughs> anything. It just adds more to the top, just presses it down, and just, Ugh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Making more Right, right. <laughs> but yes. Varun and the Forge Master head back to work. And what are you guys doing for the rest of the day? You have a whole day ahead of you. It sounds like uh, we might need to look what else of Varun's might have gone missing. If Could ask. <laughs> Tosh will put stick their head into the forge and just yell at the top of their lungs. Hey, Vorin. Yeah, Vorin's not quite in the in the zone yet. It's only been about a minute or two. Very easily, Vor uh, Vorin, Toshi sticks her head in and just screams at you. <laughs> yes, Toshi. Are you missing anything? Not anymore. In uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, what's the fucking word for it? Sense motive. <laughs> yeah, come on. 
Go on. Yeah, um, go ahead and roll that... me a... Uh, actually, what's your... Voron, what is your bluff modifier? I still pass the... I still pass the I get a hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Plus two? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's definitely still missing shit. Okay. Definitely. I'll... I'll help the others find whatever you're missing. See you in a little while. Toshi. No. <laughs> Toshi Brink goes you... out before he can say anything. <laughs> you, you do hear through the door just that no. To <laughs> work. Yeah, not a worry. Toshi Bard barges into uh, with Solomon and Saf and goes, We're going to find some stolen shit. And I'm going to turn to Seth and I'm going to say, see, this is what I mean about Varun causing trouble. Or, you know, off, off, we yes. go to Varun and there's always yes. trouble. I see. Oh. Uh, uh, right. Um. I don't. Um. Okay. Do you two not want to do that? It's fine if you don't. I, I don't. I I'm don't well. understand what's happening. I mean, like, very rarely I do. I just go with it. Right. <laughs> we're we're go we're gonna find Varen stuff. Yeah. Um, or, or you know, something like that. Uh, we're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> uh, I'm down. I'm not doing anything else today. Uh, so Toshi, uh, how good is your sense of smell? I guess. How good is yours? Probably not as good as yours. Um, but I mean, let me see what I can smell. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll me a perception check, Solomon. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's not survival, it's, oh, great. You smell, um, the, you know, the, like, the lingering, like, smell of beer in the air? <laughs> and yes. hot metal. Actually, that sounds really appealing. Yeah. It's not. It's, look. Believe me. Yeah. It smells like it hot smell beer. Like... Hot metal smells like blood. And that, <laughs> that means it's going to be like beer and blood. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So I'll, I'll share with Toshi what I can smell and... Uh, mm -hmm. Should we maybe go outside and uh, and take a walk around Varun's house? I mean, yeah, it might be goblins again. Possibly. Um, so Saf does stand and follow you guys, and I will consider Saf as right behind you. Um, <laughs> it's much like Shalilu. Toshi is going to check the door lock for any scratches. Yep. That would be consistent with trying to pick it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vorin, did you lock the door before you left? No. No. That doesn't so mean the person wasn't any. smart enough <laughs> to think, oh, it's probably locked. Yeah, no. You don't find <laughs> any. Hmm. Okay. So, as a general thing, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to get the three of you, Saf included, to roll me a perception check. May I take a 20? Uh, you, you may take a 20, if you so wish. 34. 34. Dang. If she's taking 20, I would also take 20, so I would get a 29. Cool. Not a worry. Um, so 34, 29. Um... How are oh, you so... Oh, no, my bad. 30, 30, not 34. Cool, cool, cool. Not a worry. Mm -hmm. Um, right, so what you do see is that um, the, the road that Voren's house, the front door is on, is very, very well traveled. So you're not going to find too much from there. 
Um, you, however, do know how easy it is to jump the wall near the forge. Um, <laughs> look. Um, so what you do, what you do, what you do find is uh, a footprint close to where you normally jump the wall, mm -hmm. because that's the easiest spot to jump it. If you if you were to jump it, that is where you would. Um, go ahead uh, with the 36, 30, 30 perception, you said? 30. 30. Yeah, 30. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, just go ahead and roll me a survival check. Uh, yes, I'm not good at those. <laughs> That's okay. It's not super hard because you've got, you've got such a high perception check. Thirteen. Thirteen. <sighs> it's by fifteen. <laughs> um. Okay, so you can tell that it is a just an average sized boot print. Um, it's kind of nice, ish. Um, like it's 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 decently made it's not super old um yeah someone's just trying to be lauren while he was away probably my question is is why didn't they just use the front door so where from where you're standing right now mm -hmm. um it's actually around the back of the house so the wall of the forge is between you and the road. You look around and it's actually very hard for anyone to see you climbing into the forge. So she's just going to poke their head over, look at what's going on in the inside. Two dwarves forging. <laughs> pretty pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. Um... But yeah, you don't find anything else around there. Uh. You do you do get the sense it's probably a male because of the size and the the indent. It's probably it's probably a male. Can we uh, can we compare the size of my foot to their foot and yeah, Toshi's foot to their it's foot? And smaller than yours, person? larger than Toshi's. Oh my. If it's smaller than Toshi's, it's a problem. Yeah, no. Smaller than Solomon's, larger than Toshi's. Uh, Saf? Uh, yes. Uh, your foot here? And you, Saf, sort of puts their foot out and it's a cat's paw. <laughs> uh, they're just like, I, I, I don't. I, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine, sir. That's yeah, that's fine. I I don't think he's ever interacted with any any animal kin before. Who? Animal kin. Never mind. Who? Uh, you, me. Oh, S Solomon. Right. That's yeah. that's okay. He hasn't... <laughs> I yeah. don't think he's I'm had not that very experience yet. Normal. So that's okay. I I I don't have Firkin, no. <laughs> wow. So yeah. a new on stream at some point somebody's gonna call oh, me a furry. I just oh, didn't realize sure. it was going to be from my party. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, so that's anyway. that's what you find. Um you don't find really anything else. Um it feels like it's probably been a while. Oh yeah, we were gone like a week. You were gone. You were gone. I think just over a week. Yeah. Am I able to uh, at least tell how long ago that footprint is from? Sometime in the last week. <laughs> Not with a thirteen, you can't. <laughs> okay. Who, whoever, whoever stole from Voren's house is gonna be interested in the fact that he's back here today. Uh, let's spread out and. Uh, just watch who comes by for the next 
20 minutes, half an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, criminals always return to the scene of the crime. Of course. You can figure course. out who looks suspicious. Yeah, no, definitely. No, no. That's, uh, that works for me. Um, so, uh, if, if I could get everyone to roll me a perception check. No, you can't take 20 on this one, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Of course I roll a five. Of course. Um, cool. He's so cool. So you are, you are looking for people who look suspicious. Yes. Uh, Solomon. Is that more of a sense motive? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not quite, no. Okay. The next part of this, maybe. <laughs> Solomon, you do see yeah. someone um, not, near, not, not quite near Voren's place, but duck from one alley to the next. About, oh, say, 70 to 80 feet away-ish, somewhere around there. Oh, yeah. um, duck from one alley to the other. Definitely trying not to be seen. Uh, go ahead and roll me a sense motive check. Cool. Oh, wow. You're pretty sure that this is not connected to Vorens. However, you do recognize the face. Just in like you recognize you recognize one of the features, and it's a scar from like from like here around, ending just at the corner of the mouth, right up here, all the way around at the corner of the mouth. Um, and this person was in the one of the prison cells the day that you took. Um, Suto to the prison. He was two cells down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to point him out to to Toshi. Oh, he's and... gone before you can... Yeah, he, like... He's moving pretty quickly and trying not to be seen. Um, as you say, hey, Toshi, did you see that? It's gone. Okay, if we, uh, if I say Toshi, come with me, and I want to get Toshi onto the roof, uh, mm-hmm. uh, assuming if we're looking at the map, uh, what, yep. where are we? Where did we say your house was, Varun? <laughs> it is every episode. Oh, it sure does. Yeah. 16? 17? Was... Surely I should have written this down. Oh. <clears throat> I believe uh, off the top Vorin. of my head. Uh, Vorin lives in No, the I know where it is. 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 Look, if I could. Excuse me, sir. Can I, if we go, that's way too big. Excuse me. Um, um, Wow, wow, Adam, come on, get it together. Varen lives in 23? No, Varen lives, I was going to do purple, but I'm going to go white instead. It is this one right here on the end of Bench Street, corner of Bench Street and Drunkard's Walk. So where you see this guy is, so you're probably standing about here in the corner of 18 and across the street from Vorens, and you see it from uh, in between the, in in here. Drunkard's Walk is, is not a huge street. So from here, Actually, no, the other way. From behind Voren's house, across, away from Voren's house. Okay. Uh, so, first off, Toshi, do you want to follow that suspicious-looking person? 
What suspicious looking person? Uh, come with me if you want to follow a suspicious looking person. He has a scar here, and I recognize him from the jail cells. Uh, he was there when we dealt with Miko's brother. Ah, uh, okay, let's go. Cool. And we're off with uh, with Saf being coaxed to come along. Not a problem. Saf is just oh, oh okay, yes, yes, um, and just follows you along. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, right. Yep. What do we see when we get around um, to uh, the main road? Around to the main road? Nothing. 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 Gone. Go ahead and roll me a survival check if you want to try and track, but this is this is pretty difficult. Yeah, you have no idea where this where this guy's gone. None whatsoever. Okay. Well, it was a suspicious looking guy, other than me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who now uh, uh, looks a bit silly. Um, well, he surely wouldn't have had anything to do with it anyway, so uh, shall we go back? I mean, shouldn't we go ask about any people escaping as of recently? He might have just been let out, and sometimes people just look shifty. This is true. I'm assuming he was let out and not, uh, and not, uh, uh, uh I assume he didn't escape from jail. Um, oh, but yeah, we can be a knowledge through. local. Let's see if you sort of can place who this might be. May I? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. If 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 it's trained, this will be. It is. It's not super easy. Toshi, the scar, mm -hmm. uh, and the moment Solomon sort of points out where it was, uh, you actually not recognize, but you you have an idea of. Someone with a scar very, very similar. Um, so, from here, do you have knowledge and ability? Yes, I do. Go ahead and roll me a knowledge and ability. 18. <laughs> well, would I get any additional things because I am, in fact, in those circles? Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so, you, you know of someone, you don't know, you don't know who this is, but you've, you've might have seen them before. Mm -hmm. In Magnema, there is a family called the Scarnettis. Mm -hmm. Um, they are, I think, sort of... Mafia connection kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and the person that you saw the person with the scar talking to was someone by the name of Gradon Scarnetti. Mm -hmm. G R A D O N. Um, he controls the interests of House Scarnetti in Magnamar. Interesting. Specifically in the shipyards. Okay. Um, this person, from what you know, is not in charge, but would probably hold something akin to the rank of maybe lieutenant or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to look to Simon and say, do you want to meet some of my family? Um. Okay. Saf, how do you feel about that? Ah. Uh, okay. Sure. This, okay. Is, this is a monumental event. We should uh, we should definitely get Varen. I mean. He's lived oh, he here. Oh, for... he seems very busy. 
He's probably also met her a few times. So she's just going to start walking to yeah. the bears. Yeah, not a problem. The state. Yeah. Uh, also, so you, can you put yeah. the star netty into... I will message Chester. it to you. Thank you. Later. Remind me. Okay. Um, yeah, Adam. Just because I don't Star have... Netty. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have it open right now, but uh, how about instead? Right on Scarnetti. There you go. Thank you. Um, cool. So you head over to Kendra Deveron's house, and yes. there is the there is the same guard that you saw last time <laughs> is outside the door. Just she waves at him. Hello again. Nods and um, obviously recognizes you and says, uh, please wait here. I will, uh, I'll see if the mayor is available. Okay, thank you. Solomon's going to be potting himself up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I love this translation. Toshi just it's fantastic. flips hair behind their back. Of course, just, of uh, course. Getting a little bit nicer. Yeah, no, definitely. So, after a minute or so, um, the guard steps out and um, gestures you inside and says, um, she's available to meet you now. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Um, head on in. So she's going to just head on in? Okay, not a problem. Um, and you head straight wait. to the, uh, just head straight to the office that... You were taken to last time. Yes. And, um, yeah. So you, the, do the door's open and you see Kendra Deveron sitting there with paperwork in front of her, a few chairs, and she, as you, uh, step in front of the door, she gestures you in and, and gestures towards the chairs. Come in, come in, Hello sit, again. sit. Hello. How are you? How have you been? I, uh, have heard many things about your exploits. Of late. Thank you very much for your uh, help with <laughs> retrieving Shalalu and Osana. It's much appreciated. Uh, Sandpoint would be in danger much more often without her. Well, I try my best. Especially for family. Very much so. How can I help well... you today, Toshi? I do have an odd question. Yes. Do you have a Scarnelli in City? Um, the Scarnettis do have a presence. They uh, they run the lumber the the lumber yard. I think it's actually hang on. Is it a sawmill or is it a lumber yard? What is it? Sandpoint. <laughs> it's a lumber saw. It's a lumber mill. Yes, they uh, they they own the lumber mill. Oh, um. Or are connected to the yeah. They they own the lumber mill. They. Um, Solomon remembers yes. seeing one in the prison the other day. One with Scott with a very large scholar. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um. Right. Which one would that be? I believe that was more about um. The, I believe he was involved in a in a tavern brawl, and he was just thrown in there to sober up and stop okay. causing a nuisance. I was hoping that. Okay. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. I don't. I'm not told about everything that goes on in the prisons. I leave that to the sheriff, and I leave that in his very capable hands. Though I would at least think you would know when a nob when the nobility is thrown in there. I think that you may be bringing your Magnamarian ideals of nobility into Sandpoint, and they are not the same. Okay. I would like to know how they work at some point. If it's different. Think much more casual. 
in Magnamar, many people parade their nobility around. In Sandpoint, most people work very hard for the people. It's more how it should be rather than how it is in Magnamar. At least in my opinion. So a bit closer to your side of the family than mine. Very much so. There is a reason I live here. Yeah, I would live here too if it weren't for my wife. Well, I mean, she has married you. Yeah. What's to say that you can't move? Well, convincing her to move. I don't think she's left that city for as long as she's lived, so... I can guarantee you that she has not. Yeah. <sighs> she would be most welcome here. I have to tell her that the next time around. Any news from that side of the family? Am I still causing a fuss? Always. Good. <laughs> you you do realize you will have to head back sooner rather than later, right? <sighs> yeah. We can arrange that. I mean, we do Solomon. need some research from Magnamar. You Solomon, do hear a bit I of a squeak you... from Seth, from Saf. Solomon, I will throw your ass out of here. But thank you for your input. Also, Saf, you're fine if you want to speak anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> we also probably should not go to Magnamar anytime soon. As per, I'm not the only one with issues with Magnamar. I agree. If at all possible, we could could have plastic. And at this point, uh. The mayor sort of looks over at Saf and realizes exactly who's in who's in her office, and she sort of, oh, uh, I apologize. I don't think we've had the pleasure. And Saf just sort of shrinks back into the, uh, kind kind of like a cat backed into a corner, just like shrinks down and just, ah, uh, no, we we haven't, um. You you are you are the mayor and um there's no reason for you to know who to know me, of course. Um and Kendra Dever and sort of the mayor just was like, Oh it's nice to make your acquaintance. May I ask your name? And Saf just Oh, uh I'm my my, my name is um Safisha Rin and uh, you you can you can just call me Saf. That's fine. Or Safi, either either one. Um, it's whatever whatever's easiest for you. And um, Kendra Deverand is just okay. Um, well, it's very nice to meet you, Saf. And it shoots you guys a look. Be very careful around these. Heroes of Sandpoint. They are good people, for the most part, as far as I'm aware. However, they do tend to get roped into a lot of trouble very often. And Saf has sort of got that uh, just just thousand thousand yard stares, like yeah, uh huh. I'm aware. <laughs> Looks into camera. Yeah, just, just... really. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, be getting into trouble is half the fun. Getting out of it, out of it is the other half. I'm very much okay with staying out of trouble in general and keeping the town of Sandpoint safe. Was there anything else I can since, help you with today? Since we're here, uh, yes. Uh, hi, I'm Solomon. Um, uh, is there inter that is there anything interesting happening in town? Uh, any any robberies or or even going on that, that new, um, you know, uh, new things. Uh, has, has anything changed while I've been away? Uh, honestly, that was that would probably be a question for the sheriff. Um, I am kept in the loop on bigger crimes than than robberies and drunken brawls. Okay. Um. Well, I don't suppose there've been any bigger crimes either. Not um, that I'm aware. I, of. I hope. Ah, that's good. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for, uh, 
joining me today. And if there is anything else that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Thank you again. Just I'm sorry for getting the game that I'd mixed up. God, it's confusing at this point. <laughs> it's completely fine. Just, just meta for a second. I'm so yeah. tempted to be like, hey, would you like to emblazon something on the back of my... <laughs> Wow. No, no. Wow. Anyway, let's move on. Yes, let's. So, would I get sneak attack for slapping you upside the head? Uh, unfortunately, not. No. <laughs> um. So yeah. So she does gesture towards the door, and you head out, and you find yourselves back out on the street. Oh, before. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to pop their head right back in after Saf and uh, Solomon start to walk away. Yeah. I do need to tell you something later, but probably after I finish following whatever this chase is. Uh, is it... is it quick? Because I can... I can... help. It's better to have over tea or a very strong cup of whatever you want to drink. Understandable. Um, come back tonight. Okay, hopefully I don't get roped into anything too big. Hopefully not. Away. Away. Until she runs away. Not a problem. <laughs> oh well. Should we, uh, should we go talk to the sheriff? Uh, I mean, guys this is petty crimes. the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, you guys were meant yeah. to take some spears to the sheriff, which you do not have on you at the moment. No. Also, yeah. as Toshi's Toshi running, <laughs> as Toshi's running out, if Solomon is outside, Toshi's just going to hop into Solomon's back. I, I don't know if Solomon would I'd notice. That guy. I mean, <laughs> look, uh, Solomon like, does hey, notice Solomon the 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 dragging <laughs> down, but it's it's <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Can I? I I would Solomon would so assume that you've seen something, it would want to lift you higher. Oh yeah, be holding you up. Yeah. Cool. At this point, <laughs> both of you go ahead and roll me a, an acrobatics check. Okay, yes. I'm not bad at that. <laughs> I am. Pretty oh good my god! Too. Amazing. Oh yes. Amazing. And I'm at least able to keep balance. <laughs> Uh, that's a natural just. one, Toshi. So, yeah. Uh, you, you, you grab her. You grab Toshi by the arms. Just fling her up, and <laughs> you grab her ankles as as Toshi stands on your shoulders. You know the whole the whole cheerleader pyramid thing. Yeah, full yeah. on, just solid, rock solid base. Toshi, you're now standing on Solomon's ankles, just able to keep to keep balance. Toshi brings out their arm and yells. Forward! <laughs> uh, and starts wow. laughing. Heroes on Sandpoint! Not on. <laughs> cool, You're you, on you definitely get a few looks. Toshi's giggling the hell out of themselves. Oh yeah, 100%. Alrighty. <laughs> Uh, so I assume that either Toshi or Saf would remind us about the spears, because Solomon yeah. has totally forgotten about the spears. Saf doesn't say a word. <laughs> Toshi's like, okay, if we're going over to the sheriff, we need to go over to Vorin's and pick up some spears. Yep. With the long shafts? Oh no, it was the short shafts. It was the regular spears, yeah. I'd hate to be short shafted. Anyway... Yeah, not an issue. You head over, you grab them, and then you head back to uh, head over to the the sheriff's office. I I would so love to see as we're walking up to Boren's, walk past his furnace, and Toshi's actually above them. Oh room, yeah, no, they're looking in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very very hard at work. And, Hello, Boren. Yeah, and... Roll me Boren check, Boren. notice. <laughs> Oh. Doesn't even blink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wait, wait, no, Solomon. Solomon, bring me close to the wall. Yep. Yep. Is it safe to jump down <laughs> over the wall? Sure. 
until she jumps down over the wall. Yeah, go ahead and roll me, uh, grow me an acrobatics check. 14, there we go. Sticks the landing. Uh, <sighs> dust off. Hey, Warren. Go ahead and roll me a perception check, Warren. Oh, Warren. <laughs> this should be much easier with somebody acrobatic thing. Yeah, no. You you see out of the corner of your eye, Toshi just drop down from out of the sky <laughs> and just hello Warren. <laughs> what are you doing, Lass? Um enjoying my time outside. Uh where are the spears? In the Main room in the corner where I pointed yeah. to while we were having. Have you been drinking enough water? Of course. Roll me a sense motive. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no, not at all. Definitely not. <laughs> Drink water, Vorin. You're going to get dehydrated, and I really don't want to hear the Forge Master yelling at you for not drinking enough water. He's going to be drinking water. Dude, she's going to get. Have, are you drinking water? You have heard of the thing called the Craftsman's Trance, right? Yes. You get lost in another world while you're making something. And when you get dehydrated and faint, it won't be my fault until she walks away. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm going to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Not a worry. Uh, so Toshi, you you bundle up the the spears. They are tied together with a with a small length of rope, so pretty easy to carry. Um, and then yeah, you guys head up to the barracks where the sheriff's office is. She just says to Solomon and Zaf, "I can't believe he short shafted me," and gestures to the spears. Oh. Terrible puns. Ouch. Painful. What? I got to stick to them. It's the only way to keep ahead. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was epic. <laughs> so okay. you head into the head head into the barracks, um, and the sheriff pokes his head out of out of his office uh, as you walk in and says, "Ah, more of the spears. Just straight down there and in, into that door. It's straight into the armory. Uh, how many are there? Five. Five more. Five more. Thank you." Um, I guess oh, we have and, uh, to do this. Sheriff, I think I can also give you back the leather armor that uh, you guys gave me when I first came here to Sandpoint. Oh. Thank you very much. It served me well. Um, Wonderful. If I'm you want to arrange, yeah, if you want to arrange someone to pick it up from Amico's, uh, uh, yeah, um, I can I'm return sure she it. Has, Thank you. Very uh, she she has a cur- she has a courier that can uh, that can deliver it. That will be fine. Solomon. Yeah. Do you? How much do you do yourself? Nothing. What do you mean? How much do I do myself? I mean, you try to get Saf to go get the drinks, and now you're wanting somebody else to go get your leather armor. Well, this is the Ashwood way. Is L- it? Literally, we're we're traders. The, the idea is not to carry heavy things yourself; it's to make animals. I mean. Carry leather. He, he's insulted. not lying. Uh, he, yeah, he's he's yeah. not lying. Out of everyone, I would have expected me to have had have needed a lesson in humility. Go get your armor for them, please. I'll go put this away, and I'll meet you halfway. Uh, uh, uh we can, but should we not, uh, Sheriff? We we had a question. Um, yes. small time burglaries, robberies, etc. have been going on in town? Um, well, that, that depends. Um, <sighs> petty crime is petty. We usually... The people that are engaging in this usually have a reason for it. Uh... It's not usually because they are just horrible people. It's usually because they need something. We do have a fine system in place for the more petty crimes. And 
the fines are not payable by monetary means. They are payable by, let's say, work. If you, if you need something and you take it without payment, you work that debt off. Most of the time. Um, so Sounds what like exactly good. are you asking about? <clears throat> Help, but, uh, fuck it. Um, Vorin's teapot that I know of was stolen. Right. That may sound really petty, but uh, yes, yes. it sounds like someone, so, yes, <laughs> someone went into Vorin's house and may have stolen more than his teapot. However, this is Father Vorin we're talking about, who certainly wouldn't want to get anyone in any trouble, uh, and sticks by the moral code of, well, they obviously needed it more than I did. Um, I see. But uh, we would we would like our teapot back. It has a unique flavor that's been maturing over a long time. That is and the worst it's, way it's, I've ever it's, heard somebody it's pretty put much it. a family heirloom by this point. The, the the value can't be measured in coins. I guess it's, I a, see. it's a family of bacteria. Anyway, <laughs> gross. Um, it's not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> so I die every time it boils. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The so um, one tastes good. <laughs> we should also mention it may be a public hazard. Uh, some unsuspecting person drinking from that teapot may not survive. <laughs> Just okay. me laughing in real life is Toshi laughing. Oh, hundred percent. Wow. Okay. You guys. <sighs> Man, you know, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what to say to that. Confusion. Yeah. This man just has just, a look of confusion. It, um, if 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 Warren would like us, the Sandpoint Guard, to investigate, then have him come and see me, and we can get an itemized inventory of what went missing, and we can, I can, we can sort something out. Right, you are. Yes. Nobody steals uh, man's teapot, that's just rude. Sure. Was there anything else? By the way, uh, yeah, who was the, uh, when, when Amiko's brother was in, uh, unfortunately, a, a while ago, when he, he, he uh, decided to depart this realm, uh, right. There was someone in a cell down from him with a, a hooked scar. Um, I see. Do you happen to remember what, what he was in for at the time? Um, not, to, not to cast dispersion on anybody, but uh, I've recently seen him and he seems to be acting suspiciously. Uh, and I don't know if I, I should ask you to investigate him or not. I, I assume he's just a drunk had been in for petty crime. Uh, yes, he was part of the Scarnetti family, and uh, as such, they are a more high-profile part of our uh, of our fair city, fair town. Um, so the rules aren't uh, well, shall we say, the rules are not different for different people. However, they're more visible to the general public and therefore are held to a higher standard, much like yourselves. Me doubly so. Okay, well, um, thank you very much for the information. Uh, I shall leave him to his uh, suspiciousness. Um, <laughs> And uh, I, I guess I'll go and get you some, some leather armor. Uh, and I'm just going to give Toshi a look as I walk out. <laughs> Making yeah, me I'm... do this myself. Just, uh, <laughs> just feel free to just drop that one into the armory and let the, uh, let the quartermaster know that it's, it's, it's being returned. Thank you. It just gives you a I'm nod. definitely giving the Toshi giving Toshi the look. Oh, for the, sure. You made me clean my room look. Yeah, 100%. Toshi gives him the mom look. Yeah. 
Awesome. You better damn do it. <laughs> love it. Love it. All right. Mm-hmm. Would that be an intimidate check? Um, <laughs> sure. I wouldn't try and intimidate Solomon. No, it probably won't work. It would just kind of be funny, though. Just better do it. If, this is... You intimidate Solomon, he is going to intimidate you back. Oh, yeah. You lock eyes, and oh boy, is that a look and a half. Sav is probably going like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> look, that's fair. Um, we are going to take a very quick... Very quick break. Um, so I will be in chat to uh, answer any questions. Um, Toll is also going to be in chat if you have any questions. Toll did miss the um, Q and A last week, so feel free to ask Toll any questions that you have, and that would be super fun. But we're going to be back in around about ten minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. But stick around and uh, we'll see how how much craziness that this uh, he party of heroes of Sandpoint gets up to between now and the rest of their downtime. We, we literally need some shenanigans in our life. I'm need sorry. Need some shenanigans for sure. All right. We'll be back very, very shortly and uh, see you soon. Uh, remember that
And welcome back, everybody. So, moving on immediately from just before the break. Um, Toshi and Solomon, as you exit the barracks, where do you head from here? I'm going back to uh, the Rusty Dragon to get, yeah. uh, get and return the leather armor, then I'd be going to Borans. Yeah, not a problem. Um, you grab that, head back, Warner Master signs are back in, no issues. Oh, and then back to Borans. Yep, Toshi, yeah, go to Borans. Yeah, not a problem. Um, what time is it? In game? At this point, after everything that you've done, probably, say, four o'clock in the afternoon-ish. Okay. I'm going to go and get food from the Rusty Dragon yep. in a few hours. Yeah. So let's just hang over at Vorin's for the day. Yep, not a problem. Um, so for the rest of the day, you just hang out at Vorin's, and from there, you go grab some meals, take it back. Beer is provided this time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, super easy. Uh, Vorin. So she's just like, yep. oh no, you're good. I was just going to say, Varen, uh, as the the other three had come back into the, uh, come back into your house, you do smell what seems to be a dwarven delicacy. What have they got? Dwarven delicacy. Just because I'm mean like that. Fried rock bread. Fried rock bread. No, that's what. <laughs> so she put in the chat. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Ham hock soup, I guess. Ham hock soup. So. Oof. You you smell it. It's kind of earthy. So, and I promise not to do this to everyone too often. So, a really rich, earthy soup broth smell. You smell, um, just a smoked meat and mushrooms. And uh, beef stock just waft into the forge, and your stomach audibly growls. And the forge master looks up at you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> finishes finishes up what he's doing, and uh, says, "See." Good. So she brings in the food, and if the fire is going in front of the fireplace, Foxworm just lying in front of it, yeah. waiting for the other two. Yeah, to within within out. minutes, within minutes, the uh, the the two dwarves are sort of poking their head in, looking for looking for this looking for this this meal. Um, smells amazing, and you sit down, and the the. The steak is actually off the bone, and it just melts in your mouth. Almost like buttery kind of feeling, just melts in your mouth, just... And uh, the, the soup itself is actually almost more akin to a gravy. It is rich, it is hearty, it is absolutely phenomenal excellent and Torgas disappears into this meal the ale you get with it is a um a dark brown ale with rich uh rich roasty sort of tones to it and it's 
really good. Just just a, just a hint, just a hint of a nutty sort of flavor as well. Who's hungry? <laughs> Beforehand. <laughs> so, I don't know. So she goes around somewhere, unfoxes, and just comes back and goes, yep. okay, food time. <laughs> All right. And uh, dig in. It is, it's probably one of the best, best soups you've ever had. Um, everyone who is so, not so a dwarf. Or- uh, no, Saf has, um, so the backs of Saf's hands are furred, ending in what look to be nail, like, like fingernails. However, Saf's palms are like cat pads. Like the pads on cat's feet. Like, she's got beans. Yep. Um, <laughs> however, their legs, uh, do end in... Cat's feet. Are they okay. digigrade or are they more humanoid? Um, more animalistic than anything. Digigrade. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Digigrade is the multi oh. uh, knees, like cat foot or back um, leg. Yeah, so mostly the the like the the top half look mm-hmm. mostly humanoid <laughs> it's the bottom half of 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 their legs uh, that are the the digigrade sort of yeah 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 i know science terms i was, <laughs> I, was I was wondering if saf could hold a spoon um which saf can, she can very easily <laughs> hold a spoon i'm just imagining cat lapping up soup yeah anyway just... um <laughs> Everyone who isn't a dwarf who eats this meal, what bad thing Yeah, um, just about probably probably a good half an hour later. Mm-hmm. I just need everyone to roll me a fortitude save. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So she's already Saf... knocked out, I'm guessing. Oh yeah. Uh Saf about halfway through the soup. It just pushes it away and just over full sigh. And then about probably a good 30 to 40 seconds later, is just Asleep on asleep, just sort of like leaning, just leaning back, just asleep. Food coma. Uh, oh, yeah. Toshi, you do you do last about half an hour and then pass out. Solomon Toshi is same. Fo- Toshi's fox form in front of the fireplace. Just yep, <sighs> yep, definitely. <laughs> so everyone very quickly falls asleep except for the dwarfs. <laughs> Guess we're staying here tonight. Fortitude's laurel. <laughs> it's a bit rich for him. Just a bit. Just a bit. You can expect that, though. Of course. They don't have the uh, uh, the stamina that we dwarves do. Exactly. Damn it, Toshi can't make horny jokes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Forge Master. Toshi would totally said I can outlast you any day, old man. Wink. <laughs> the Forge Master does sit and uh, just just sits with you. Doesn't say much. Do you say anything? I'll just ask if um, anyone in town was particularly pointed about me being gone. I am the wrong person to be asking about this. Yeah, I figured, but, yeah. you know, I also kind of figured if somebody was trying to be me, you would notice. Very much so. And... I did not notice. There wasn't anyone around town 
acting like you, being like you. No. Not in the last week. Not when you were gone. I'm going to have to make a new hammer. I took my good hammer. Hmm. Did notice. Hmm. However. I feel the same. Sorry. Go ahead. It doesn't, doesn't feel the same swinging this one. I understand. Speaking of hammers. I notice you are bereft one very large hammer. Look at my little skull piece mm -hmm. sitting on the mantle of my fireplace. Yep. 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 I understand that this is very personal. Forging a weapon is not something that you should do lightly. You say, well, we're uh, pounding out 40 spears. I do not do this lightly. Nor do I. You were the one who's put this in motion, though. Yeah. I didn't put it in motion lately, either. No way. <sighs> Orag seems to be pulling you away from Sandpoint. Yes. What does that mean for you? More importantly, what does that mean for me? You can go back to being your reclusive, grumpy old hermit self. Good. <laughs> and uh, Adriel looks over at the uh, sleeping forms of Solomon and Toshi and nods a little. Fox Toshi. Fox Toshi. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And, um, says, unfortunately, as much as I would like to go back to being that person, something about these, these heroes, well, like it or not, I do believe that that is exactly what you are. Have you spoken to Torag? Yep. He does not... He does not make himself known lightly. You know this. might be time for me to step back into it. Same at the church. Unfortunately, I believe so. Because you need someone to take care of your flock while you're gone. I, I do. I it will not be permanent. Volunteer. I'm not volunteering. Sounds like you are. Nope. Nope. I am not volunteering. That is not what this is. But, and he seems to just sort of stare into his drink for a bit. <sighs> Torag has made it very clear that the time for 
my solitude needs to be put on hold. And I am not impressed. However, when Torag speaks, one listens. You know, I always thought it funny that you would pick a bustling little town for your place of solitude. How many dwarves are there in this town? You and I, and a couple of us. Seems pretty isolated to me. These other tall folk, they don't understand our ways. And over the last five years that I've known, three years that I've known you, I sense a touch of destiny around you. You are meant for bigger things. but you are also meant to be here as well. Mm. I uh, doubt I would have got my name and been pointed this way if I wasn't meant to be here at some point. I agree. Tomorrow we finish these spears, and then for the rest of the week, we forge you a hammer. May I, may I assist? would be honored. There's a grin and uh, he says to you uh, just sorry one question how big is the forge in your chapel in your ch in your in your section of the church? It's only small. It but it is it does work correct? Yeah. Hmm. But you wouldn't be able to do big things with it. Hmm. You wouldn't be able to do the long hammer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not even in pieces? Possibly in pieces, but mm -hmm. it... Then you do want to create a two-headed hammer, right? One head, one head, the moving parts. You've changed your mind? I didn't ever say that I wanted to do that. Okay. Fair enough. I thought I, I, thought I must have misheard it. I thought it was an interesting idea. I That's fair. Consider it, but That's fair. I'm still not decided on what I want to do. Okay. Well, if it comes up in the next hour, you may need to tonight. It's fine. I can do that. All right. Cool. Um, Kadril gets that grin and uh, is visibly not mischievous, but there's a there's a there's 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 a there's a aura there around him that you haven't seen before. You're not quite sure what it is. Excited, maybe. Like you're coming back to life. Hmm. Old dwarf like me, ever. Yeah, as as a live stone, we stand on. As alive as the stone we stand on. 
he nods to you and stands up and says, first thing in the morning then. And he heads home. We'll uh, go on and shut the forge down properly. Yep. Put a big log on the fire. Mm-hmm. Um, close and lock the door. Yep. And uh, wash my face and my hands properly. Yep. And go to bed. Wonderful. You find a very peaceful sleep, knowing that your new friends are around and that you that even if you did have unwanted guests in the middle of the night they're no match for you and the heroes of sandpoint you'll wake up the next morning very well rested and sort of hung over from a food coma <laughs> You'll sort of wake up around about the same time, probably as Voren is putting on his new teapot to boil and make tea. There is a, just a very singular, oh, excuse me. There is a very singular um, knock on the door, just one pound. And you'll Come to consciousness very quickly. What are you guys doing? I'll go close the door. Mm-hmm. Do she still in fox form on their back, paws up, just looking over at the door? Okay. Not a problem. I'm curious if Solomon made away from the table before going into his Oh, corner. no, definitely not. I'm assuming that I found a chair or something. No, no, oh, uh... it's sort of, sort of slumped down on the table kind of thing. <laughs> Gonna wake up, a little bit embarrassed looking. Yep. Uh, no, I've been awake this whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Eight hours, I've been awake the whole time. Uh, I haven't lived until you slept at the table, lad. It's very true. Hoshi <laughs> Fox just nods their head upside down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is, uh, <laughs> is is anyone planning to get that door? Yeah. Yep. So in walks Forge Master Torgus. And uh just nods curtly at the rest of you. And so uh yep. we we running errands for you again today, Varen? Uh, I don't have anything right now, obviously. Um, this afternoon, I was hoping to deliver the rest of the spears to the sheriff uh, once Forge Master and I was finished. Haven't. All right. Well, I guess I'll go get us breakfast. I'm going to give Toshi another look for the, uh, I never do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's she fair. giggles at you. Fox giggle. <laughs> <laughs> Saf is um very slowly waking up and as as they wake up you just see their ears just flick back and back and forth a couple times. And big stretch, big yawn, and you just see rows of pointed teeth pretty much all the way back. Like a row of pointed teeth, like cat's teeth. All the way back. You guys literally have two carnivores in your party. Yeah. Right. Three. Right. Yeah. Varen's practically a carnivore. I mean, like, he drinks tea. So? <laughs> Omnivore. Nah. He doesn't eat the leaves. Just drinks it. It's fine. I mean, like, it's close enough. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. It's after water, too. <laughs> So, um, yep. Does the, oh. 
I, I'm, I'm definitely curious after yeah. uh, that heavy dwarven meal if any of us are even that hungry. So, no, uh, no, you guys are not hungry at all. In fact, you hungry. wake up, you wake up, and you still feel full. She's always hungry. What are you talking about? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> all right, not this morning. So, so I'm getting light meals from Amico. Uh, yep. 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 Wow. Does the Forge Master say? Yeah. Uh... A nice big thick ham steak and some eggs would be great. The uh, you, the forge master nods steak. in appreciation. Hmm. Yeah, that. You just see Toshi's tail just start waggling a lot after hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just gonna give Toshi another look of you said I never went and did anything. <laughs> yeah. And uh, three big steaks and uh, Seth. Would you like to come with, or do I just bring you a... Yes, yes, of, of course, I, yes, yes. All right, and, um, off we go. Yep. Heads off with you, while it tags along behind. Uh, you, get to, you get to the Rusty Dragon. Amiko is in full breakfast swing. And, uh, yeah. Gets what you ask for, gets, gets what you ask for, and uh, pops down two tankards. Is there any drinks? These will be for the, for the dwarven lads. In, in, in a uh, very, in a very, um, very good approximation of Vorin's accent. Uh, yeah, I think a, 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 a few ales all around. Um, Noted. It doesn't and, uh, seem like we're going to be out and about today. Yep. Yeah. And uh, pops a few pop pops a couple extra um, tankards down and says, "Enjoy." All right. And this time I'll help Saf carry things. Of course. Do the whole waiter's hold where I have six plates oh, yeah. across my arms. Definitely. You your arms are big enough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, uh, head back, and um, the forge isn't quite hot yet, but it's getting there. Probably have time for breakfast, and then you can get into work. Does so, the forge master say anything to Fox Toshi? Roll me a sense motive check. <laughs> okay. Skills, that's plus agree. His perception was so high last time that he knew what you were even before you revealed yourself. Cool. You get a look. Mm -hmm. uh, it is kind of like... I win. <laughs> in a way. Like, in a weird way. It's, it's, an, it's an I win in a weird way. Yep. Toshi is going to, in Fox form, go over the table where they're sitting and hop up onto his lap. Uh, so as you go to hop up, you just end up with a with a palm in your face, just pushing you straight back down. <laughs> I'll have none of that. Toshi, so like, lightly bites the sand. Like, not hurting, but just like, ha. <laughs> a child. <laughs> And uh, he 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 gets he gets into his he gets into his ham steak. Starts falling into, into it. His lap and he's distracted. Yeah, no, there's there's no chance that you are getting up on that lap. You can try and make a CMD, but there is absolutely no chance. It's not happening, even with a natural twenty. No, not gonna happen. He ain't having it. He's not having it. He's not about this life. No. Pets. Nope. Give Toshi pets. Nope. <laughs> Toshi's going to go to Saf then. Uh, Saf is very uncomfortable, but kind of just lets you do what you're going to do. So you just like a flop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saf, Saf's just sort of sitting there like, Looking around, 
It doesn't say, but like. Can Toshi tell? Oh, yeah, easy. With your plus 14 to sense motive, easy. Toshi just like rubs their head up against like them, like, pet me. <laughs> <laughs> And just staring at anyone for help. Alright, Toshi. I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Being in another... Uh, 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 I was about to say another man's lap, but... Uh, Seth? I don't know. Um, and I'm not about to ask, so... Come on, Toshi, let's have breakfast. Toshi hops up onto the table and tries to steal your food. I, I think, I, think I will put you outside if you are going to act like an animal. <laughs> you get a you you get a giggle from uh, from Forge Master, <laughs> and Torgas picks you up by the scruff of the neck, opens the door, tosses you into the street, and closes the door behind him. Sits down. Now we can eat in peace. The door opens. Because yep. it's not a round doorknob, right? That's up to it's up to Varen, that one. <laughs> it is now. It is now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a round doorknob. It'll just take me a few extra seconds. I open that fucking door. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go over and lock the door. Yeah, so as you, as, yeah, as you uh, go Toshi to un like... unlock it, and, it, yeah, it, it, it's locked. Toshi uninvisibles, or invisibles, yep. unfox form, while yep. invisible pit picks the lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, super <laughs> easy. Uh, what's your bonus to, actually, no, go ahead and roll, go ahead and roll the disable device check. See if you ruin Varen's lock. Eight, uh, 20. 20. 20 will unlock the door, luckily. <laughs> Door swings open Still... and there's no one there. So she walks through and then comes out of invisibility. Yep. That's so she... mighty rude. You know what else is mighty rude, rude lass? On my table as a fox. So she's sort of gaping to themselves about that. Yeah. Hey, Vorn, where's your gold? Well, oh, no. Sorry, not Vorin, Solomon. I get you too confused sometimes for whatever fucking reason. Solomon, have you checked your gold my first? Gold? Yeah, where's your gold? Uh, yeah, and I'll whip out my purse. Uh, yeah. Here. Uh, have you I was actually going to ask if we should... Uh, I, I... Meta, I counted it at the start of the session. <laughs> um, Toshi's teasing you. Yeah. <laughs> not... not not since yesterday. Um, Probably should count it more count often. <laughs> I'm gonna get up and walk into the board. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. You guys are probably Not finished here. eating by now. Right. And yeah, never attempted. Forge Master <laughs> follows you very in 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 quick succession. <laughs> Got a nice juicy breakfast beer. Good. That's a very odd way to describe a beer as juicy. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> it's really good. Nice um, and sweet and full bodied and delicious. Oh, so, what what fun shall we have today? Uh, well, or will we? I will say. I will say. <laughs> From here, I'm not going to roleplay the next five days. We're doing it. You have five days. <laughs> what would you like to accomplish in the next five days? I, I may pick a few bits and pieces to roleplay, but over the next five days, what would you like to do? I'd like to send a message back to the Ashwood tribe if I yep. can. Do they yeah. have a postal system? They probably would be able to get, you would probably be able to get into contact with them at 
the tavern of any of the townships or cities that you would stop at regularly. Fair enough. Uh, so I would I would make arrangements for that, probably mm-hmm. with Amiko. Yep. Um, I want to send back pretty much everything that's happened to me since yep. I arrived in Sandford. Um, Super easy. That that should be important on my list. Yep. Uh, shine up the armor, repair anything that needs repairs, etc. Um, I can't think of anything else though. We do still have a bill to pay at the um, at the temple. Which I'm going to remind Varen when he finishes his spears. He paid for uh, that with the rant sores. Uh, well, on, or to, yeah, to get the rant sores back, um, we pay the money. It, yeah, no, it blocked out the p word. I can't from the p word. It clearly can't differentiate between the two. That's the that's the Australian names. accent for sure. <laughs> Um, it also stars trapeze. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I would probably ask Varen and Toshi, what's the plans for the next couple of days? Do we need any equipment? Any things? Um, uh, actually, I was going to ask after today if you three could uh, not come by. For the rest of the week, I have something very personal to do, and I would not like distractions. Seth is immediately nodding, and yes, yes, of course. You better at least eat on a regular basis. I will. Then I'll probably spend the. I'll probably spend the next three days getting to know my second horse. That's fair. Um, and probably introducing Seth to her horse, which we'll have confiscated from uh, old mate. We had an extra horse. Merck's old horse. Ah, right. Yes. I understand. Yeah. I was like, huh? One, who's old mate? <laughs> But yes, yes, I understand. Yes, 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 yes. It's Warren um, telling the truth. <laughs> Warren is telling the truth. He will eat regularly. Whether that is three Toshi's meals a day thing. or once a day, he will eat at a regular interval. He will eat on a regular interval, three meals a day, Warren. Or else. He'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, spending spending time with uh, uh, Shadow whatever, um, Shadow Mist. Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Billboard, Sh- Shadow Mist. Yep, okay. Yeah. Um, will I be able to learn what uh, what commands etc. They know and go ahead and roll me a handle animal. All right, this is what I uh, build up for. Come on. That's ride. That's not handle animal. There it is. Oh. Who? All right. Very good. So, Shadow Mist knows. Okay, that's helpful. Um. Through through trial and error, you figure out that um, Shadow Mist knows uh, three three tricks. Tricks is awesome. a, it's a thing. Um, the... Play dead, roll over, fly. <laughs> um, the first one is calm. So s- calm. Calm. E A L M. Yeah. Um. The, the bonus is uh on you can handle animal DC ten, and it okay. gives the animal a 
plus two bonus on an initial will save against fear effects, plus four on subsequent ch subsequent checks. I'll pop that in. In the thing. Um, the next is come. So comes to you, DC fifteen. And the final trick is Where's it going? Fine. Um, I was looking for a retreat, but that's not an actual thing, so it must be flee. Um, uh, so yeah, it just, it flees, attempts to run away or hide as best it can, returning only when its handler commands it to do so. Um, until such a command is received, the animal does its best to track its handler and any accompanying creatures remaining hidden, but within range of its sight or hearing. Oh. Yeah. Is, uh, is putting the boot into someone a uh, trick, or uh, does it also know how to give someone the boot? That... It is technically a trick. So that would be attack. Um, oh, it is, it is also combat trained as well. Okay. So... So yeah, so combat trained. Um, awesome. So yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Since I'm there, I guess it'll go check if anyone knows who the horse used to belong to. Um, um, no one really not no that one I'm knows. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no one really knows who, who the horse belongs to or anything like that. Um, I am going to give you a stat block later. So you can, you can have it. Um, all right, cool. So, um, that, that'll take you most of the week is doing that and getting used to, um, getting used to Shadow Mist and getting Shadow Mist used to you as well. So, yeah. So you get to know the horse, and it now recognizes you as its handler. Yay. Um, Toshi, what do you want to do over the next five days? Um, probably just, like, mess with Solomon every so often while invisible. Yeah, no, that's You know, fair. as a mature, a mature adult. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Solomon definitely gets kicked once or twice because of you. But he probably just assumes that uh, it was his own fault. <laughs> Not with the horse. Not going to put him into real danger. That'd be fine. But just like move everything like an inch to the left. Yeah, yeah, super easy. 100%. Yep. You're talking to a teenager. Solomon is not going to notice if the shit in his room has moved. That's no, it. but your body mapping will. And you'll be running into things. Yeah, yeah. You, you just you've you've probably gone through another uh, another growth spurt, Solomon, and you just you your shoulders are broader, limbs are longer. You you know that kind of thing. Funk. Funk. Oh, okay, that wasn't there before. Who put that there? Uh, Who put that the wall here? That Toshi's going to send a letter to yeah. Magnamar. Mm -hmm. To who? You know who. Toshi's wife? You who must not be named. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wife. Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Toshi's going to make sure that it's not, it doesn't have any way of being tracked to Sandpoint. Okay. And I will tell you what it says after game. Uh, cool. Send it to me in a message. That'll probably be best. Yes. So, I have a, so I have a record of it. Um, cool. What's, now. uh... It, it... Hmm? What's up? Uh, 
Uh, sorry, I was going to say, what's uh, Saf going to be doing? Should we uh, should we arrange any tasks for Saf, like <gasps> go and get yourself some better equipment or uh, uh, mess with Toshi? You know, one of the days Toshi will attempt to do their linguistics thing. Okay. So. Okay. How do you want to approach this? Okay, so because Toshi has how you say the words mm -hmm. in common, yep. um, pretty much all Saf has to do is cast Comprehend Languages on themselves to comprehend what Toshi is saying mm -hmm. and then write down what is being said mm -hmm. in common. So then I can go through and make a working list of how things are said in this language. Okay. And start to decode it from there. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. hmm. Go ahead and make a linguistics check. This Yay. is this is difficult because and 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 here's my thinking. Mm -hmm. Just because you can say something phonetically, right, doesn't mean that you understand. What you are what saying. Being... No, and, that's the point. And. Uh huh. The interesting part of this is depending on, because this is definitely in no way <laughs> in any rules as written. Oh, no. That's because they didn't think of this. No, 100%. Um, I have to make a decision whether all right so so comprehend languages you you can understand the spoken words of creatures or read otherwise incomprehensible written messages the ability to read does not necessarily impart insight into the material merely its literal meaning mm -hmm. the spell enables you to understand or read a an unknown language not speak or write it mm -hmm. It, so what yeah my my the decision that i'm that i'm presented with is mm -hmm. do you as a character you as a character have to understand what you're saying for this to work because it's speaking the literal meaning no because it's, it's like ignoring foreign language it's yeah, you don't really yeah. know what you're you don't really know what you're saying. So, because magic is weird, <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So okay. The second Odds part or this is, wouldn't the spell wouldn't the spell be able to decode what's written? No, because it's written phonetically. Okay. No, and it's the spell okay. does specifically say it does not decode what is written. Okay. I'm going to leave it up to a roll of the die. Even. Even? So, mm -hmm. if the die shows up even, this works, and okay. you, you, get an, uh, you get a sense. And the worst comes to worst, we go back. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He was just giving instructions for his daughter's birthday celebration. Could have been. Hey. If if we can figure out what's being said, that means I can learn the language. Possibly, yeah. Fuck. Unfortunately, um, so Saf casts comprehend languages, and mm -hmm. as you speak, as you speak phonetically the the language, mm -hmm. there must be some sort of and this is what saf says after there must be some sort of intent needed for this magic to work if the if i if i had the original source material in front of me i could i could probably this this would work however i feel that there must be some sort of understanding on your behalf for for this to, to for this to work, um, yeah. Sorry. 
Hmm. Magic is fucky. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, how do you feel about um swimming? Ugh. Um, can can we not? If possible, I don't. I'm not a fit. No, no, I don't feel about swimming. No. How about boats? It's not as bad as swimming. <laughs> I think you're on the same page as Foran. <sighs> yes. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with, Toshi? Like, is there... Nope. Toshi's literally just going to rip out the page and throw it away. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> um, anything else? It was a good try, though. It was, it was a really good idea, and I really, really loved it. Um, it came down to a roll of the dice. <laughs> All right. So, Varen. Your turn. The next day... Well, same day, technically, really, that we left off on. Um, go ahead and roll your craft check. And... Ooh. Um, <laughs> I think you... Uh, well, I don't think we really need to do the math on that one. I think you sort of worked it out that with those extra bits and pieces... Um, that finishes all of the spears, is that correct? So is that before or after his is doubled? So the 52 is before. So... 104? <laughs> no, mine's doubled as well. Oh, so 164. Yeah. And the DC is 15. Yeah, but super, super that easy. Is 11. And that's 2,460 silver pieces worth of work. <laughs> yeah, so how how long does it take to, to get through all of the spears? Half a day kind of thing at this point? I believe there are only like two gold. Or something like that. It's it's yep. yeah, two gold. Yeah. Cool. So it's that twenty silver pieces. Oh, yeah. Yes, super easy. So within within the next few hours, make, hey. Yeah, could make could make um. Make like 120 spears today. Yeah, so this should have been done in like a day. Whoops, my bad. Yeah. In any case, the two of you working together, um, you feel a third presence with you. As if Korag himself was guiding this endeavor. And the both of you enter a trance, and then when you shake yourself out of it, you look back and you have finished every single one of the spears that you needed to finish in about two and a half hours. Forge Master Torgas looks over at you and nods, says, Well. Seems the uh, what's it? What's it? What's his title? I believe it's seems the father of create father of creation 
was guiding us today. Do you... so. Seems so. Do you have a uh, schematic for the hammer you would like to create? Schematic, but I have an idea. I can sketch something out and we can go from there. You get started. I'm going to go. I'll get over will... the piece from over the man's place. Mm -hmm. You design. I will deliver the spheres. I'll be back momentarily. Bring some beer. Of course. And uh, he to... ducks out. I'm going to drawing a schematic of mm -hmm. plan of what I want to do. Got any ideas, or would you like to describe that next session? I'll describe it after we make it next session. Okay, done. Done deal. Because I feel like that's more dramatic and For more... Sure. Uh, Suspense. Of course, of course. So, you draw up the schematic, and as you finish, Forge Master ducks back in through the curtain, looks down at what you've drawn, looks over it. There's a, there's, there's a heavy silence. He nods, looks you dead in the eye, says, oh, looks like we have work to do. Okay. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. I think that's the perfect spot to end it. And first thing next session... We will forge, we'll forge Voren's hammer and figure out where, where he is going to go with this. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Um, thanks Interius for the follow, much appreciated. I uh, did say Impressive. before, but... Um, much appreciated. Thanks for joining us. I will be in chat to answer any questions for probably five or ten minutes. I do have to go and pick Danica, Danica up, so <laughs> she messaged me about ten minutes ago, said, hey, I'm in town. Can you come and pick me up? So, yeah. Um, I'll be in chat for a fair while and uh, ten minutes or so. And I'm sure any questions that uh, our play illustrious heroes of Sandpoint that you have for them, they will be able to answer as well. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week.